What impact will the conflict with Iran have on gas prices here? Oil prices skyrocketed just hours after news of the attack. So now all of us who have cars, obviously, are worried about whether that's going to mean higher prices at the pump. CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely live in Santa Ana with a reality check for us. Michelle? Well, you guys, it's important to note that our refineries here in California do use oil from the Middle East. It's a quarter of our supply. So as you said, the question tonight is this. Will the current situation in the Middle East impact all of us who feel, most of us, that we already pay so much for gas? I think it might affect us a bit, not right away, but... I don't put a whole lot into it just yet. Drivers filling up their tanks aren't sure if the big jump in oil prices will mean more pain at the pump. There is uncertainty about Iranian retaliation against the United States on the heels of the death of an Iranian general. That drove the price of a barrel of oil up $2.70. Unlike other parts of the country, California relies in part on foreign oil. So California gas prices are more likely to be affected by any sort of tensions in the Middle East than maybe prices in Texas or elsewhere because we are more reliant on that foreign oil. About 25% of our oil does come from foreign sources uh, in the Middle East. Consumers are still feeling the sting of paying $4 a gallon back in the fall. Prices have dropped a bit. They're hoping we don't see a repeat. I pay like $200 a week on gas alone. So if it goes up? I go up. <laughs> it's going to be tough again. We just got past uh, almost $4 a gallon. So it's going to be tough. It's too early to tell if gas prices will be affected. If you see tensions escalate in the next week, chances are good then then we would see gas prices go up in the next week. But if, if, if this is all that's happened, just this one incident, then um, we're, we probably won't see that effect. Now, the action in the Middle East has already resulted in a rise in oil tanker rates. There is concern that the tankers could be attacked. And there's also a question as to whether the waterway that the tankers travel in should be closed. That's the latest live in Santa Ana. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.